ready to take a deep dive into the world of breathtaking, stunning visuals because I'm about to show you why the Panasonic GH5 might just be the ultimate camera for indie filmmakers just like you. We're gonna touch on a lot of the GH5's dope features and you're gonna know a lot more about bit depth and bit rate than you've ever cared to find out. And hey, I know the GH6 is out. I know it's available, but don't cut the GH5 out just yet. Buckle up, smack that like button, and I'll show you why this little monster can still deliver all them cinematic goods. Let's get down to business. The GH5 is a beast when it comes to capturing your vision. With its 400 megabits per second, 422 10-bit recording, the GH5 gives you the flexibility to create some stunning masterpieces. Hold up, Alan, 422 10-bit what? Well, let me break it down. 10-bit, okay, 10-bit refers to bit depth. Bit depth specifies how much color information is available in each pixel of an image. More bits per pixel results in more available colors in your image. So 10-bit, what makes it so special? Well, in plain terms, this means that an image produced can display up to 1.07 billion colors. And this is a lot. Other less expensive cameras around this price range of the GH5 only does 8-bit. And 8-bit does about 16.7 million colors. Also, FYI, all the footage I shot that you're seeing in these examples are only 8-bit. I didn't even have to go 10-bit to prove how crazy this camera is. With the 10-bit, right, you'll notice that you have a lot more colors to work with and smoother transitions from color to color. And this helps you do more in post-production with that image without deteriorating and ripping away that image quality if you shoot in a flat image color profile like V-Log. And V-Log is just Panasonic's proprietary flat image color profile that they use for, for their Micro Four Thirds camera lineup, which means that there's just a minimal range of colors baked into the image, but this enables a colorist in post-production to go crazy in terms of color and creativity with your film without your film image breaking apart. Okay, so 10-bit, we've got that hashed out. 422 refers to how the camera captures color. This is known as chroma subsampling. So let's start off at 444. It refers to how much color information is being recorded at a pixel level. Video typically gets away with less color resolution because it can simply borrow from nearby pixels to generate an image that looks pretty good. 444 is the best and 444 means that there is no subsampling, meaning that each pixel has its own color information, not borrowing any color information from other nearby pixels. So this represents a color signal in 444. And 444 is the holy grail of color accuracy up to this point. It's raw, uncompressed video with no chroma subsampling. And for sure, you will see no subsampling when you get to those expensive, re type cameras the panasonic veracams the sony venices of the world and the thing that all of these cameras have in common is that they're all super expensive so that's where you're going to typically see your 444 so a video signal is typically split up into two different aspects contrast and color luminance aka contrast and color information so luminance or luma is what makes up most of the image since contrast is what forms the shapes that you see on screen. Now color information or chrominance or chroma is important as well, but less important because it has a little less of a visual impact. So finally, the GH5 has 422. 422 has half of the chroma of 444. And 422 reduces the bandwidth of an uncompressed video signal by one third with little to no visual difference. And this is where you want your image quality to live because audiences will not be able to tell between a 422 image and a 444 image. In simple terms, 422 means a richer color depth then 420 and 420 has slightly less color information but unfortunately shooting at 422 comes at a higher price right shooting at 422 is going to increase the file size in comparison to 420 so it's all about finding the right balance to meet your creative needs 400 megabits per second what does that mean bitrate refers to the amount of data used to encode video or audio per second. This is the camera's data rate or 
bitrate. At 400 megabits per second, you get incredible image quality. But remember, it comes at a trade-off, larger file sizes. But trust me, it's worth it. A higher bitrate means sharper, clearer images, more vibrant visuals. That'll take your storytelling to the next level. The Panasonic GH5 gives you two SD card slots, giving you ample storage for all of your creative needs. And even if you want to shoot anamorphic, the GH5 got you in 6K. Just remember you need an external monitor and an anamorphic lens to achieve that cinematic magic. Now when it comes to keeping your shots buttery smooth, no more shaky footage ruining your masterpiece. And also guys, this camera is super affordable for the indie filmmaker. The GH5 comes at a price that will not break the bank, especially when you consider all of its incredible features it brings to the table. It's a true champion for indie filmmakers, offering tools to bring your creative visions to life without breaking your pocketbooks. But what about the Black Magic Pocket 6K? We are not talking about him right now. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting out on your filmmaking journey, this camera just delivers on that beautiful cinematic crispness that should just leave your audience speechless. Think the GH5 is a winner and all? Give me your thoughts in the comments below. I wanna hear what you think. And of course, if you'd like to grab one, I'll leave a link in the description below. And hey, don't forget to check out my latest film, The Brotherhood on Amazon Prime, Plex, Tubi TV, a lot of those platforms. I'll leave a link to that in the description too. And if you're a filmmaker who wants to support the channel, grab yourself a Clover Key. It's a camera plate, screwdriver, and a bottle opener. DCDM guys, remember always be developing, creating, distributing, and marketing. It's always a blast chatting with you guys. Until next time, peace.